Hey there! Have you ever wondered how culture is shared between countries? Well, let me share with you my own cross-cultural experience. Hi, I'm Aina and I'm from Singapore, but currently I'm in Malaysia pursuing my degree. Here's a map of Singapore. And now Malaysia. You see, Singapore and Malaysia are side by side and we share a border. Well, sort of, it's more of a massive bridge that connects our countries together. Our countries share a lot of history together, but that's not the topic for today. Today's topic is... For today, I'll be sharing with you three dishes that are similar yet still unique depending on the country of origin. Let's start with my personal favorite, chicken rice. Chicken rice in Singapore is derived from Hainanese chicken rice. What's so special about Hainanese chicken rice is how fragrant the rice is. Typically, Hainanese chicken is either steamed or poached. Now, chicken rice in Malaysia is a little different in that they offer other methods of cooking for the chicken. There's even a chain restaurant that specializes in chicken rice called the Chicken Rice Shop. Other methods include roasted, barbecue, honey glazed and such. In Malacca, there's a specialty known as the chicken rice balls, where the rice is molded into balls. Supposedly, it's to make it easier for customers to eat without cutleries. Personally for me, I enjoy my chicken roasted but do enjoy the classic Hainanese chicken rice when I'm back home. Moving on, let's talk about nasi lemak. See, this particular dish has caused much chagrin between the two countries. I've been at the end of some of these jokes while in Malaysia, but it's all in good nature fun. Nasi lemak means coconut rice, but if directly translated, it means fatty rice, because of the coconut milk used to cook the rice in. Actually, if you looked into it, coconut milk is popular in Southeast Asia, like how cream is popular in Western countries. Nasi lemak is Malaysia's go-to meal, be it breakfast, lunch, or even dinner. It's an evergreen dish that is Malaysia's pride and joy. Now imagine the rivalry when Singapore claimed it as our own. Yikes. When buying nasi lemak from some restaurants, they come in a cute little pyramid packaging that we call bungkus. It's wrapped in banana leaves for extra fragrance. Typically, nasi lemak comes with one meat side dish, fried peanuts and anchovies, fresh cucumbers, sambal and either a fried or boiled egg. Let's move on to one more dish that is the exact same but is called differently in both countries. In Singapore, we call it roti prata. But in Malaysia, it's called roti canai. This dish actually derived from India and is called parata. Roti, that's what we'll be calling it from now on, is a part of mamak culture. There are some differences between mamaks in both countries, however the concept is the same. The fact that both countries perceive mamak food to be a part of their food culture and identity just goes to show that cross-culture brings benefits to both sides. Well, that's all for today. It's been fun introducing my home country's food culture and comparing them to my host country. See you around!